welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to construct angle uh, angle 41, 41, 1 over 4 degrees. So you can also rewrite this as uh, 41.25 degrees. So we are going to be using just our, our compass for this. We will not be using our protractor. Now before we get started, let's do some, uh, some calculations to arrive at how best we can achieve this. And remember, before you can do this, knowledge of um, basic angles like angle... Uh, how to construct an angle 90, angle 60, 30, you know, 45, you know, it will be of help when you have to do something like this. Now, so let's look at it. Angle 41.25, 41.25, so if I should multiply it by 2, I'll be having 82.5 degrees. If I should multiply it by 2 again, I'll be having 165 degrees. You can see this angle is much more easier to construct. And what does that tell us? So if it, that means if we can have angle 165 degrees, and if you should divide it by two on two occasions, exactly, that means you are going to be having 41.25. So how do we go ahead to get 165? It's very simple. If you have 180 degrees minus 15 degrees, and that will give us 165 degrees. So I just decided to show you the mathematical calculation part of it. Sometimes this can be very helpful if you have to do other angle so these are you go about it especially when you see them um, in, um, in fractions like this so you, sometimes you might have to keep multiplying them by two or or three to get a reasonable angle that you can easily construct and then you start to bisect them all right so let's get started so um, I already have my horizontal line and I'll be using with any convenient length on your compass so I have my this semicircle already. So what I want to do now is to get 165 exactly. So in doing that, so let me call this point O. So let me call this point A and let me call this point B. So point A is this point where the semicircle is touching my horizontal line, and point B is this point here. All right. So with the same length, I'll come over to point A and I'll draw an arc on the semicircle. Now that arc that I've just drawn, if I should draw a line, okay, actually we will not act, we will not need it anyway, so let's still skip that. So, but from point O through this point, let me call this point C, is 60 degrees exactly. So I'll bring in my compass um, at any convenient length, so I can decide to increase it. I'll place it on point C. So from point C, I'm going to draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point A, draw another arc. Now, from the point of intersection, I'll draw a line to point O. I might not necessarily need to draw the line. I can just let it to stop on the semicircle. Exactly, because we only need the intersection on the semicircle. So let me call this point D. Exactly. So that means this angle AOD is 30 degrees. Exactly. So this is the angle we need to bisect again so that we can have it into 15, 15. So I bring in my compass again from point D. So from point D, I'll draw an arc with the same length. I'll come to point A. I'll draw another arc. So from the point of intersection, this time around, I'm going to join it to point O. So now we already have um, this particular angle here. So let me call this point E. Exactly. Let me call this point E. So what we have now is we have angle EOB to be 165 degrees. Exactly. So this angle is what we are going to bisect uh, on two occasions to give us uh, 44, I mean 41, uh, 1 over 4 degrees. So I bring in my compass. So let me just increase the length. So I'll place it on point B. And I'll draw an arc with the same length. I'll come to point E. So you have to be careful. So from the point of intersection, which is right here, I'll join it to point O. Exactly. So this right here is giving us, um, that means this angle like this, this particular angle is 82 and a half. Remember the calculation we did earlier. So now this 82 and a half is what we are going to bisect again. So let me call this point 
point F. Point F, where this line is touching a semicircle. So what I want to do now is, so we already have FOB to be 82.5 degrees. So I want to bisect angle FOB now. So I bring in my compass again, place it on point P, draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point F. I'll draw an arc. So the point of intersection, which is right here, I'll join it to point O. And this right here is the angle that we are to construct, which is 41, 1 over 4 degrees. So one thing you also need to take note of is every other thing that we've done here, you have to, you have to do them with construction line, which is a um, faint line. The only line that should be very visible or to be bold is this particular line. And then alongside this, just from point O, can extend it out. So which is to show that this particular angle here is the required angle. So that is it on how to construct angle 41, 1 over 4 degrees. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you also want to know how to construct other angles, kindly check out the playlist on technical drawing. You'll find a lot of them there. So with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.